right, that was Max, man. He's calling out Ari tonight, so let's let's get Ari in here, see what he has to say. Ari, what's up, man? Talk to us, Ari. The, the chat is waiting to hear from you, man. Can't talk <laughs> about ISO tonight, Ari. Talk, yeah, talk yeah. to us, man. How you feeling? Let me hear it. No, no. Listen, at least I didn't. At least I didn't have to see any Wayne Ellington today, so that was good. But um, I know I don't know Max is on the phone right now, but um, you know if he's looking for a vice president of the Frank Nuafina <laughs> fan club, uh, I, I think I might be a, a good wait, a good choice. Wait, at wait, this point. <laughs> oh my God, he tur- He's a turncoat tonight. He's a nah, turncoat nah. tonight. Oh, he's ready to night. come. For one night, for I got to be a turn code. Come on, man. I mean, if you can't <laughs> see the, the the way that this guy can can help this team win games, bro. Uh, if, if tonight didn't change no, your listen, mind, I mean, the guy, I don't know what will. No, listen. Uh, the guy, I mean, I, he had an amazing game. He played very he played well on both sides of the ball. Obviously, defense is never what the issue with him. It was always his offense. And he, like, I, I couldn't believe it. He was hitting his shots, which was... Which was pretty, which is pretty great, and just the aggressiveness. Him trying to dunk on KP, I actually like saw emotion out of the guy for the first time in his entire career. Besides when he like had that run in with LeBron, but like this is the first time like where he had like it seemed like he had like a little bit of like a Mamba mentality, which was um, which was something that I I I mean, listen, I've I've been hitting the devil's lettuce a little bit, but I I I couldn't believe what I was seeing right there. That was that was. I didn't even know if that was real life of what he was <laughs> yeah, doing. Like that. Yeah, but, um, you tell me, man. Me and you both, bro. I couldn't believe what I was seeing out there. I couldn't believe it. No, but listen, listen. If he isn't if, with him, it comes down to his shot. If he can hit, comes if he down can to hit the shot, shot you know. And I don't know if that's a confidence thing or if that's a mechanics thing, okay. or if that's just a rhythm thing. But if he can hit his shots, then I'm, you know. Listen, I'm I'm down for the to be the vice president of the fan club. But <laughs> there's the one thing that I think that we um <laughs> the one thing that I think also helped us a lot is that Tim Hardaway Jr. was on the other Oh yeah, team that that oh, was God, the saving grace, Terry. The saving grace was that Timmy was oh, on the other God. side of the court trying to win the game for his team, and we all know how that will turn out for you. Brick City, Brick City. <laughs> <laughs> Brick oh my City, God! Baby. Now Brick I know. City, the- bro. You see, like he was, uh, oh my god! I thought Julius Randle's bad, and I, I still think we should trade him. But on, on nights like tonight, you just realize that, like, thank God there's no Tim Hardaway Jr. on this team. Uh, so I, at least I'll we don't have to deal you, with that stuff. I, but I, great, I, great man. win, and and I and I forgive me for my Frank sins. Okay, I apologize. All right. Neil, Neil Akina Hive, he's coming back into the chat. He's crawling back <laughs> to the chat. As a member of the Neil Akina Hive, you guys in the chat, man, you got to let him have it. Are you going to let him into the hive tonight? Just for tonight, or, or are you gonna let him have it, man? He's Ari's coming back into the, into the chat. Let, let him have it, then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, CP, I'm looking yeah. at something I mentioned earlier, right? With mm-hmm. some of these project guys, like they almost have no ceiling because you almost see them like just step by step learning basic things and getting better. Clarence Gaines, obviously, you know he was a scout. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He came Ooh, out. Uh, exactly. He came out hype tonight. Clarence Gaines, <laughs> he was hype tonight. He, he was hype, and he tweeted something that's so interesting. He said. I would scare you guys if I told you how good I thought Frank could be when he was drafted. Mm. Time will tell, but his upside is higher than the mess I've been reading the past two years. Listen, I know we keep comparing him to like these, you know, Thabo Cephalosha and Tony and, and um, Roberson and Tony Allen. They don't ha- this uh, his offensive game, at least what he's shown so far, is far beyond them, and they were in their mid to late twenties. Yeah, he's he's, he's way beyond what Tony Allen could do. Tony Allen right. was a prototypical um, 3 and D guy. I think what you've seen from Frank is I, I'm i still not sure if, if he's a point guard, but at the very least, you know, he's a guy that can be out there as an extra facilitator, which is not a bad thing, and be a 3 and D guy, a lockdown defender, you know what I mean, at multiple positions. I mean, how can you not see that as a winning basketball player? Exactly. The thing is, you like you said, we're not sure if he's going to be the main lead guard, but he has to play. He has it's to play. It's so clear. He has when to he's play. on the court, the defense is at, it's, it's insane. And you consider how many bad defenders we have. Yeah. As we become a better team, guys get better. True story. The kind of unit you could build with Frank, RJ, and Mitch all locked in. Hey, it would be. Go. And they're young. These kids are 20, 21. True. Like, that's insane to know. The Knicks are all about defense. True story. Let's bring back the 90s. You're talking about 90s basketball? That's what I'm talking about for a decade. I'd love to see that. That's it, man. 